this is Gwen from Everything Gwenny, and today we have our October craft haul. And it's really mostly going to be yarn, um, and there's not a lot because I was sick a lot of this month, so I really didn't go anywhere. But there was a couple things that I specifically wanted to get. And so we'll go through that, and it'll probably be pretty short. So what I might actually do is throw in some uh, whip updates at the end. So here in front of you is um, uh, my local yarn store had a sale on some old yarn. Uh, one lady had done this beautiful shawl um, in this yarn, a different color, but it's yarn that has sequins in it. So I'm not sure if you can see, but it actually has sequins already in it. And so it was heavily discounted. I think it says $6.99 here. I think it might have even been cheaper than that actually. Uh, and it was originally $11.99. And so I got the last five balls that they had of this in this lovely Merlot color, which is like the Merlots and reds are my favorite colors. And so I'm probably going to do uh, a nice big shawl. Pretty simple just to show off the sequins. Uh, I haven't exactly decided which pattern I'm going to use with this, but when I do know, I will let you know. So let me just move that off to the side. Okay, on top of that, I got this lovely bundle. So I have, let me just open this. I have 12 skeins of this new yarn from Shibui. It's called Echo, I believe. Uh, let me just double check that. Yes, it's called Echo. It says right there on the front if I could read. So Echo. And I have 12 skeins of this lovely red color called Tango. And then I have one skein of the same color, Tango, but in the Lunar yarn. So this is Lunar. And the Lunar is 60% extra fine merino and 40% mulberry silk. This is a lace weight, I believe, yarn. And you hold it double to make the edge. And then this Echo, which is... 52% silk noil, noil, n o i l, which I believe is just raw silk, and 48% fine merino. And you're holding this one strand. And I'm going to make a jacket called Wolf, based off of Virginia Wolf, I believe. And I will post a picture here. And so that's what this is going to be. It's going to be this lovely jacket. I cannot wait to get started, but I have a couple other things on the go right now that I want to get finished before I cast this on because I have a feeling that once I cast this on, uh, I won't want to do anything else. So that's pretty much it for my yarn purchases this month. It was just the two things. Um, I'm just going to briefly show you this little, uh, these couple items. I didn't buy these myself. These were Christmas presents or Christmas presents, sorry, birthday presents. So if you saw my showcase, sorry for the glare there. If you saw my showcase uh, unboxing, those were diamond painting kits that my son got me from a store here called Showcase. And this here is a partial black cat and it's from Diamond Dots. And also this uh, accessory pack, which comes with two things of wax, two squishies and two trays and two pens. And so my son's girlfriend actually got this for me for my birthday. So I'll probably do a full unboxing of this uh, at some point. Uh, but she got it because she thought the cat looked like our cat Hyde, which was really cute. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. So let me show you a couple of whips. Oh, actually, before we do a whip, um, I don't think I showed you this in the last... In the last... Um, craft haul and I can't remember if I actually got it last month or not if I got it at the beginning of October but every year Stephen West who is a knitting designer uh, he does like a shawl knit along thing so I actually got this yarn it's kind of in this bag here and it's kind of all stuck together so let me just see if I can get it so this is the first color it's white with black speckles And then I got a gray color. Uh, this is the gray color. So it's the next color in the gradient. And then I got this lovely black with white specks to offset the white with the black specks. So you can see it says white and then gray and then the black. And then you needed a pop color. 
So this one's still attached to my project, so I have to be a little bit careful. So I got this lovely yellow pop color. That's my contrast color. So these four go together, and then you use two strands of a fine mohair for the other part of it. So this is the mohair. Look at that color. So it's got a little bit of the yellow in it. Uh, it's also got some nice pops of pink and green. I almost went with a green instead of a yellow, but I decided to keep the yellow. So these are all the colors. And then let me just actually leave that there so you can see. I'll try to move it up to the top and uh, over. Yeah, that kind of works. I'm just trying to see what fits in frame here. And this is the beginning of the project. Like I said, it's a Stephen West shawl and it's um, a mystery knit. So really you don't know what you're getting at the time. So as you can see, it has the yellow, the solid color is the main color and it carries up all the way through and then it's got the grays and the whites and the mohair and everything in the background. So you can see that there. And this is all brioche stitch, like if you know knitting. Brioche is kind of like a braided knitting stitch. And so I'll put a picture here of what it's going to look like. Because I'm always a little bit behind, I'm already past the mystery part. So everybody's, uh, other people have already finished it. I started late. And I'm still not 100% sure if I'm in love with it. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep on going with it or maybe rip it out and try something else. But I've already cut a lot of ends because it's every couple rows you cut and you leave this fringe at the end that you do something with later. Uh, I believe you pull it to the front and make like coils out of it or something to hang as a part of the design. So I'll, uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to carry on with this or not. I really liked the beginning part with the brioche, but looking at the final product, I'm not sure I love it. So let me know your thoughts. I also have... This isn't much, but I'm making a hat for my son's girlfriend's Nona, which I believe is grandmother, and she had actually given me the yarn. Um, it's Crofter's DK by Sidar. It is 60% uh, acrylic, 25% cotton, and 15% wool. And I'm just doing a simple, uh, if you know knitting, a seed stitch um, base to the hat. And it's going to be about 7 inches. And then I'll just do a broken seed stitch or it's basically you seed stitch one row and knit one row for the rest of the hat and then I'm gonna try to make a cowl and gloves possibly to go with this as well to the same yarn because she gave me I think like six or eight balls of this so I'm gonna try to make that for her okay so if you watched my last craft haul I think it was um, and I showed you this lovely marble yarn that I had picked up to make a jacket. Here is where I'm at at the jacket so far. Um, oh, let me turn it around. So here is the bottom. This is the center panel, which is the longest panel. And I've started adding the side panels. As you can see, you pick up along the side of the two panels and then you cast off to create this ridge. And I have gone ahead and done it in the darker color, which is like the just black and gray and then leaving the pink ones for the panels. So I've got the three panels here. I've finished another panel, uh, a fourth panel, and I'm working on a fifth panel right now. And then I have to do, I think, four panels for the front, two for each side, and then the sleeves. So it is coming along nicely. It is going to take some time, but I am really enjoying the way it knits up and the way it goes together because it's just so simple. So that's that. And the last thing I'm going to show today, I believe this is the last thing, is in my last craft haul I had showed this lovely red yarn that I had got for a sweater. 
and I showed that these cable panels that I had done. So now I've gone ahead and this is the back. And so you picked up stitches along the side of the cable panels and then cast on in the middle and then attach to the other cable panel and then knit down. So this is the back, about six inches. And then now I'm working on the front. And once the front is actually six inches as well and matches this, then we join it in the round. And then it'll be, I'll just be knitting in the round to, f to do the sweater until I get it as long as I want. And then I will be adding the sleeves on each end. So slowly coming along, uh, working on it. <laughs> I've got so many projects on the go, I just don't know what to do with myself. And when I'm sick, it's hard to motivate myself to knit. Uh, at least the panel jacket is probably the easiest thing I'm working on. The hat is, is not so bad either, but it's seed stitch, which is, I get tired of seed stitch after a while, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, so yeah, I mean, I can show you guys whips of diamond paintings as well. I don't know if you'd want that as part of this craft haul or you'd want it completely separate although I do have something to show you just one second uh, if anybody watched my live stream that I had the only one so far I had worked on this Christmas card the Rudolph one and I had finished him and I had actually um, let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit There we go. So I had actually finished him on line, on air, live, um, and we had actually run out of the one color and so that I had used one of the second colors to kind of blend in his face and fill it in since I had run out of this lighter color. I just used the darker color to fill in his face and it actually turned out pretty well. So on top of that I finished a couple more. I finished five total now. So I've got the bells finished as well. Oops. As I have trouble just lying it straight there. There we go. So I finished the bells, which were really nice. And I've actually got someone picked out for each of these already. So my pen pals will be getting these. I did this ho 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 Santa, which was pretty cute. I I'm not very fond of some of the shading on them. like. This orange and this red hat really bugs me. I probably could have taken it out and used red. And the gray in the beard, like I thought it should be a lot more white. And then with this, this is the snowman. I found that they used a lot of blues for the shadowing, which is okay, but I think there's almost a little bit too much blue up in the back and bottom. I mean, I'm looking on the screen now and it doesn't look so bad, but definitely up closer, it looks like the shading is kind of weird. And this one is the Merry Christmas Santa Claus. And as you can see, again, I thought there would be a lot more white in like his beard. And they used a lot of these like flesh tone colors to blend in his beard, which I thought was a little weird. So yeah, that's that. I've got five of the Christmas cards. I want to finish the last eight. Uh, I mean the last three for the total of eight. I had promised to do one of them live, so I'm going to probably have to find a time to do a live um, cast again. It's just I've been so busy, like between being sick and then this week I started going to the gym. I've been doing like Aquafit and swimming lessons because we figured that like Aquafit would be the best kind of exercise with all the pain that I've been in. And so far it has been pretty good. While I'm doing it, it's really good, but as soon as I get home and I'm sitting, I'm not feeling good again. So it's like I'm trying to get out and do more stuff so I'm feeling better, but then I'm going to run out of time for stuff for my channel. So I'm trying to balance it all. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I might have to cut back videos and not do one every day maybe. I'm not sure. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Would, would you still watch a channel that didn't have videos every single day? I mean, I know a lot of you probably don't watch all the videos anyways because like some are diamond painting, some are yarn, some are gaming. And so if you're not into everything, you're obviously not watching them all. So just trying to decide what I'm going to do with that. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. 
Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Everything Gwenny. We have a group and a page over there that you can come and join and share your progress on what you're working on and chat us up. We like to, to hear you guys, all you guys' stories and pictures and everything that goes on in your life. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys liked this and I will see you in the next video. And I hope you have a great day.